Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. It's a brand new week, guys. Come on, get up out your bed. It's Monday. Bend the knee. Thank the Lord Christ for another day. Brush your teeth, okay? Mix some 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 scope and Listerine together. Gargle for like 30 seconds. Get you some cinnamon wax, right? Get that floss and get all that junk out of there. And come on, act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that might be so, because God said so, spray deodorant and roll on, okay? Act like it's gonna happen for you this week. I am so excited about God's Word and some special lessons that we've got crafted for you, designed to help you start your day. And today I want to talk about uh, wise and holistic mentoring, leadership, parenting, uh, whatever you want to kind of throw in that junk drawer of you being entrusted to lead another person to remind you how important it is to provide discipline for the people you lead. Now, don't don't run too far, okay? But a lot of you watching right now are a parent or you are a virtual parent for someone else. You're a mentor for somebody, you're a boss and all that kind of stuff. And I just wanna remind you that you are where you are because someone older and wiser than you allowed discipline to help train you and sharpen you and strain you to be better and better and better. And the Bible cries out to us parents and us mentors that we need to supply that tool for our kids and for our mentees as well. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24, it says, whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. Now, don't go too literal with me, okay? I'm not talking about spanking, all right? I'm just talking about the principle that's being conveyed here is this idea that if God has entrusted leadership to me, it means that discipline is a part, it's one of the ingredients for the recipe of success for the person I'm leading. And this is what I want every parent, every mentor to hear. When you delete the discipline, you diminish the destiny. When you delete the discipline, you diminish the destiny. Look at what's going on with with young leaders today. Look at what's going on with this great generation that's coming up, smartest generation we've ever before seen, but one of the mistakes their parents made was not to expose them to challenges. And no wonder they're ill-equipped to handle those challenges when they get on up in their life. I was looking at this, I was reading about this about 10 years ago. There's, there's now an official thing in America called ballless soccer. YouTube it. Ball is soccer. There's entire leagues where the little kids play soccer without a ball. It's just imaginary soccer, and they just acting like they're kicking the ball to avoid any chance at all for there to be a hardship of losing the game. And no wonder why we're so ill-equipped in our culture today to do anything. They used to have something in the day called helicoptering parents, right? The, the parent just kind of hovers over the kid to make sure that anytime little Johnny gets in trouble, they come in and save the day. Guess what um, behavioral psychologists call parents today? They don't call them helicopter parents. They call them lawnmower parents. Why? Because instead of just hovering over, what they do now is move the kid out the way and they themselves create this pristine, worry-free, problem-free path for their kids to walk on. Here's the problem, what's gonna happen when the lawnmower is gone? The whole idea is that if you delete the discipline, you diminish the destiny. This is what I want y'all to hear, nothing can grow unless it's stretched. And hard, every now and then, is really, really good. So you're a leader and you're watching right now, or you're being led and you're going through something right now that's hard that your mentor had down. God told me to tell you, hard every now and then is good because when you delete the discipline, you diminish the destiny. Have a good week. It's going to be a good week. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.